Hi, welcome to this hands-on session on SQL. I am Aliza Tanbeer and in this video we will learn how to import a file in SQL using SSMS and Bulk Insert. SSMS stands for SQL Server Management Studio which provides us a wizard to import a file into a SQL database and Bulk Insert is a command which will be run on the SSMS or through CLI. In order to import a file into your SQL database, open your SQL Server Management Studio and connect to your SQL Server. Once you are connected, you have two options. Either you can import the data into your already existing database or you can create a new one. In this lesson, I am going to create a new one. For that, right click on databases and click on new database. Provide a suitable name to your database. I am going to call it test and click OK. Once your database is created, right click on your database hover upon tasks and then select import data and once the wizard is open you have to provide a suitable data source here i am going to import a csv file which is in the form of an excel file so for the data source i am going to select microsoft excel and here you have to browse to your file path i am going to do the same and this is the file that i am going to import Okay, here in the Excel version, you have to select Microsoft Excel 97 to 2003 and check the box which says first row has column names and click next. Then for the destination, you have to scroll all the way down and select the last option which is the SQL Server native client and then click next. Keep clicking next until the table is created. The name of the table created will be the same as the file which you chose to import in database. And after a while you will see that your table has been created and all the rows from your CSV file or whichever file you were importing have been successfully transferred. Close it. Now we are going to test whether this data has actually been loaded into the database or not. You can verify it in two ways. First way is to expand the database then expand the tables. And here you will see that the table has been uploaded inside the database. Let's query this. And for that, select your database from the options. And here I simply I'm going to select all the records from the database to see whether the data has been imported into the database or not. Execute the query and you will see that all the data from our CSV file has been imported into our database. And this is how you can import the data into a SQL database using the SSMS import and export data wizard. Now we are going to import the CSV file or any other file using the bulk insert command. You can run this command using the command prompt or through the SSMS itself. For that, first I am going to run the truncate command to remove any data that was already present within the table. So I am simply going to write the query. Truncate is going to remove all the records which are present in the table. And then in order to actually import the file, I am going to write this query. Here we have to provide four values here. For the first option which says bulk insert, here we have to provide the table name. So I am going to bulk insert the table inside my pets table. And then after from here in the quotes, you have to provide the path of your file. So. Here is my file. I am going to copy this path and I am going to paste it here and I am going to provide the file name along with the extension. Then inside this with brackets you have to provide format which is going to be a CS file. If, if you have file in any other format you can provide that format. I am going to import the CSV file so that's why I have added the CSV here. And the purpose of using first row equal to 2 is that the first row in my CSV file indicates the table column. So I'm going to start loading the data into the database by telling it that the first row starts from the second row. Okay, now let's execute the query and you will see that the output shows that 100 rows are affected. Now we are going to reload it and see that inside the tables we have the pet table and upon running a select query similar to the previous one in which I am going to simply print all the data from the pets table. I am going to write this query and upon executing the query you will see that all the data has been successfully imported into the database. 
and this is how you can use SSMS to import the data into your SQL database using the import and export data wizard and the bulk insert command. This is all for this video. Thank you.